Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Cubert, and in this video we have an unboxing from the cubicle.us. In here should be the new Angstrom lubes, which I'm very excited to try out. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, here we go. So there's a little note that comes with the lube, so we'll go ahead and read this. So it says, enclosed are Angstrom Research 2 upcoming water-based lubes, Compound 5 and Compound 10. Compound 5 is blue and has enhanced water retention, higher viscosity, and unique cohesion qualities. Compound 5 sticks to the inner plastic of your puzzle and adds a refreshing burst of speed and a hint of smoothness. For the best results, add two drops at a time. Then it says compound 10 is purple and is the industry's first control-oriented water-based lube. Compound X uses the attraction of charged silicone polymers to slow your cube down at the molecular level, giving you enhanced control without the drag of heavy silicone-based lubes. For best results, add two drops at a time and break in thoroughly. Both lubes will debut at Cubing USA Nationals 2018. So yeah, those are the two lubes. I've had these for a while, but I haven't had a chance to make a video on them until now. So let's just go ahead and take them out of the bag here. All right, so this is compound 10 and this is compound five. So you can already kind of tell the difference in viscosity when you kind of shake them around, but this one like shakes around a lot more and this one is quite a bit thicker when you try and shake it so it doesn't really work the same way. But yeah, I've got a whole bunch of cubes that I want to try these in, uh, but yeah, basically these are the two newest lubes from angstrom research so basically what i've heard is that compound 5 is like a better version of dnm so dnm is one of my favorite lubes from the cubicle uh, it makes your cubes really really fast and so this is supposed to be better than that which is super awesome and then this stuff is really good for setting up cubes and then controlling them so i want to try this one in some pretty fast puzzles and see if i can get them to a more controllable speed without kind of getting that gummy feeling that i don't really like because it makes the cube feel kind of sticky and slow but you if you want a cube to be controllable it doesn't have to feel slow so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and try both of these lubes out on a whole bunch of puzzles I think we'll go ahead and start with compound 5 and I'm going to test this on the YJ MGC so this is a, a relatively slow puzzle uh, it's a little bit uh, sluggish it's not all that fast so I want to see if I can speed it up with some of this stuff so we're gonna go ahead and put in one drop right here Go ahead and drop in one there. All right, so let's go ahead and break the lube in. And yes, there is a definite improvement in speed. Um, yeah, I'd say that helped quite a bit actually. This cube is feeling a lot more, um, yeah, a lot more speedy. The turns don't require quite as much effort, which is really nice because this cube is kind of just been a little bit too slow for me. But yeah, overall, it feels quite nice. It doesn't, um, you know, the, the it does definitely still feel very, very smooth, which is great. Um, it didn't really change the feeling of the puzzle too much. It just added some speed. Because this is a water-based lube, I don't think it's going to have that same kind of sticky feeling that you get with a lot of silicone-based lubes. Um, so it, it definitely is going to feel a lot more kind of like the other Angstrom lubes that have come out. Uh, they're, they're just kind of very unique and, and uh, have a certain feel that you can't really get with any other lubricant. So that's pretty special. All right, so that was a success. All right, so the next puzzle I wanna try is this Yushin Little Magic that I got at Nationals. Uh, this cube is really, really nice. It's very smooth, um, but it is extremely fast. It's way too fast. So I wanna see if I can uh, slow it down a little bit and get it to be a bit more controllable without really affecting the feeling too much because I really do like the way it feels. So we're gonna go ahead and use the Compound 10 for this. So we'll go ahead and put one drop on this side and then we'll go one drop on this side. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add one more drop. It's definitely getting a little bit slower, but I think I'm gonna add one or two more drops just to slow it down a bit more. All right, so with another drop in there, it's definitely feeling a lot better. Um, and what I really like about the way this lube feels is that, is that it just, all it does is slows down the cube without adding any kind of uh, sticky or gummy feeling to it. So it doesn't, um, you know, it's not, it doesn't have that draggy feel. It's just that, you know, the cube still feels exactly the same. It's just more controllable. So, you know, if you have trouble controlling your cubes, your cube is too fast, definitely make sure to look into this lube uh, because it's definitely gonna work very well for uh, just slowing down your cube a bit and uh, adding that controllability that you might need. All right, next up, we're gonna try another cube that's very fast, the Yushin Huang Long. This cube is very speedy. Uh, it's already quite controllable, but the speed is just 
kind of out of control on this cube. It's just stupid fast. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is throw in a couple drops of this compound 10. All right, so two drops was absolutely perfect for this cube. Wow, I am really, really liking the way that feels. I can definitely tell that the lube kind of smooths out the puzzle a little bit. The Huang Long is already a really, really smooth puzzle, um, but it just kind of makes the whole cube glide a little bit more, which I really do like. And yeah, there's no like draggy feeling at all. I really, really like that. Uh, the cube is still entirely smooth and uh, it's not um, gummy or sluggish or anything. It's just more controllable, which is exactly what they're going for, right, with this lube. So that was definitely a success as well. All right, I'm going to go ahead and try something that's not a 3x3. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try some of the Compound 5 in this 5x5. So uh, this uh, this is a Wushuang M. It used to be really, really amazing. However, it's kind of died a little bit and I've tried using DNM in it and I've got some mixed results. Sometimes it works pretty well and then it just kind of dies after like another 50 or so solves, 100 solves or so. Uh, so I wanna see how the uh, Compound 5 does in here. And uh, I'm not really gonna be able to test like long-term, but we'll see just right now how well it does at speeding the puzzle up, which hopefully the effects will last pretty long. Uh, I do probably need to clean this cube out uh, and re-lube it, but for now, let's see what we can do with some of this compound five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a drop in the first layer, and then I'm gonna put a drop in the second layer, and then I'm gonna do that on the other side as well. All right, so um, honestly, that didn't work quite as well as I wanted it to, but uh, it also, there also are a ton of other lubes that have, are in this cube and I've kind of tried to re-lube it multiple times without cleaning it out. So I think uh, the lube, the compound five might not be reacting super well with the other lubricants uh, that have been in here for a super long time. So what I think this cube really needs is just to be cleaned out very thoroughly uh, and re-lubed. But I think I would have much better results. It is it is definitely a bit faster than it was, um, you know. So it's not like it didn't do anything, but it's not as fast as I still kind of want it to be. Uh, so the outer layers are definitely better than they were. That's for sure. Uh, but yeah, overall, um, you know, not incredible on this cube but that's probably more fault of the cube and not the lubes all right another cube i want to try is this megaminx so this is pretty nice but it, it i would love it to kind of get smoothed out a little bit like it's the turns are a little bit rough and um i could use a, maybe a little bit more speed would be nice so what i'm going to try is a combination of both of the lubes so i'm going to go ahead and put some of the compound 10 on the inside and the tracks and then some of the compound five kind of the on the outer um, areas with a lot of with the friction. So I'm going to go ahead and take an edge out and then we'll put of the, some of the uh, compound 10 on the inside of the piece here. Some on this side as well. And then on this side I'm also going to throw in a drop of compound 5. Alright, let's see how that does. All right, so I think I might need to add some more of the compound 10 because uh, I don't think I put enough for it to spread around the whole cube like very thoroughly. Um, but there are some sides that I'm noticing feeling a bit smoother, which is really great. Uh, so if I can get that effect on all of the sides, that'd be great. And then the cube also is a bit faster now, which is awesome. So definitely was able to uh, sort of achieve the results I wanted. But for a Mega Minx uh, with 12 sides, there's a lot more pieces on here. I might need to add some more lube uh, than just the two drops that they said. I really only lubed one piece with the compound 10, so I might have needed to, uh, I'll probably get in there and, and lube another one of the edges as well. Uh, and then maybe throw in another couple drops of the compound five as well. But yeah, overall, it works on this Mega Minx as well. So yeah, I think this lube is really gonna work in just about any cube you throw it in. All right, so that is pretty much it for these two lubes. Both of them um, serve their purpose very well. They do what they're supposed to do, uh, which is really great. And I've also heard that they smell really nice, which is just kind of like an added feature. So the compound 10 kind of has a little bit of like a minty um, smell, kind of like peppermint, which is really nice. And then the compound five has more of like a fruity smell. So uh, yeah, that's just kind of like an, an added feature. It doesn't really change anything about how the lubes perform, but you know, they smell nice. So there you go. Anyways, that's about it for these two lubes. If you want to check them out, the links will be in the description as always. Thanks of course to the cubicle for sending these to me for free to review. If you guys like this video, make sure that like button, turn notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.